I know you'd like that would help. <laughs> <laughs> Doggos on set, licking their nuts. <laughs> I told him that. He watched you do it for years. What are you doing? I'm just doing some custom merch. Yeah, what is it? Like? Um, it's the uh, Eye of Herpes tea. You're charging postage? I'm charging postage and you get chlamydia as well. It's actually for a video, I don't just... Well, I do have herpes, but I don't just usually make t-shirts about it. Um, we're filming the new Bachelor video, the new audition tape. It'll be already out by the time this is out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh shit. There's no good. There's no It's on the line. Okay. I'm a little surprised that we don't expect it. You didn't hit me. Go on, make it here. Yeah, hit me. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Did it. Oh, I just shouted. Make a fart noise. <laughs> <laughs> Make a fart noise. Like that would help. <laughs> so I have to go send all this merch off at the post office. This is why the people at the post office hate me, because I come in with a giant box of shit and ruin their day. This is just for us now. We know I am just gonna send it. I'm backstage at the Comics Lounge because this week I'm hosting it for the entire week. The Comics Lounge is like the biggest comedy club in Australia, so it's going to be a pretty fun week. A few days before I started hosting the lounge, I did a few spots at other smaller comedy nights just to get warmed up. And one show I did was a vaudeville show, so I had to follow a guy who was hammering nails into his face. Let's give it up for Mr. Luke Kitchell! And they're just confused because you're not a whale. Like, <laughs> thought he was a whale the whole time. And then like they give you your order and like oh, he's not a whale. Like, I wasn't done with the joke, but thanks man. I appreciate <laughs> the positive affirmation just mid joke. Like, you're fucking killing it, bro. Uh, he's been he's been actually killing it lately, which is awesome. Uh, you guys are loving too, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together, show them love, 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 Lucky I did do a few spots before I hosted because sometimes I'll accidentally mix up my words and it can completely change the joke and lead to some very awkward moments. This is what I was supposed to say. And she came so hard I had to put on another load of washing. And then this is what I said. I came so hard I had to put on another load of washing. It was full on. Sorry, she came so hard. I... <laughs> 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 I do come pretty hard though. <laughs> Mitchell come. Oh. <laughs> My job as the host is to essentially run the night. So I do some jokes at the start, get everyone warmed up, do a bit of crowd work, and then announce on all the acts throughout the night. Welcome to stage drop, headline act for this evening, Neil Paul Hacker. So I've been hanging out with these boys at the Comics Lounge every night, been gigging with Tommy. Me and Tommy been getting on so good all week, haven't we, man? Fuck are you? Are you filming? We're really good friends, you can tell. Because the Comics Lounge is the biggest comedy club in Australia, we had a few big guests drop in throughout the week, like Dave Hughes and Tommy Little. My girlfriend loves this stuff, so she starts taking her pants off, right? And I'm like, yeah, take them off. Mate, it's my girlfriend, calm the fuck down. Right? It's, it's time for me to say it, but hey, 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 fuck, did you soak it off? What are you doing? How old are you? What the fuck? 
So I just finished at the Comics Lounge and I was about to head home and then I found out my boy Lewis is going to be performing at an Oz rap show. Like he's going to be on stage spitting rhymes and there's no way I'm missing that. So I'm going to head there now. I've never been to an Oz rap show before. I don't listen to Australian rap. So this is going to be interesting. It's not really my scene. <laughs> Oz rap gig and you're about to get up on stage. Yeah, that's been my first ever verse and it's I might start with some words from Lewis Spears. The rap show was good, it was different. So Lewis killed it. Um he forgot the words at one point, which was funny. Um, <laughs> at the start, I was kind of just hanging back watching, and then I just decided to get into it. But yeah, I just got home. It's 3 a.m., and I have to be up in four hours to go into the Fox FM studios to do a podcast. <sighs> Wish me luck. Woo! Alright, it's the next day. I'm tired, but I'm about to go into Fox. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna do this podcast. I'm gonna be funny. Do you know how hard it is to be funny this early in the morning? This is now two podcasts I've done before 10 a.m. What's up with podcast people and doing shit early? This is the Hamish and Andy Show podcast. So I just finished the podcast with Dave and Red. We were talking about uh, shelving bagels. So you can find the link below. <laughs> Quality content. It's now the second night of filming this Bachelor video with Stefan. What are you doing? Working out how to use a fire extinguisher because I just dropped my new mixtape, so. It's fucking lit. <laughs> it's fire, bro. Where can I buy the fire extinguisher from? Um, Bunnings, $15. Oh, actually, I gave them $17.50 because I also got a snag. $2, okay, get this, this is a story. So I get a $2 coin out of my wallet, and I'm like, just one snag, thanks. And she's like, oh, it's actually $2.50. And I was like, sorry, I'm not getting onions. And she goes, no, it's still $2.50. It's un-Australian. What kind of fucking dude? Wait, does they make you pay for sauce? Is that what? No, it it's was just, just $2.50. No, it's just $2.50 for a sausage these days. So boycott Bunnings, everyone, unless you need a fire extinguisher. That was really cheap. Thanks, Bunnings. To end this week's episode, here's a bit of crab work from the comics lounge. I was pretty much just talking, and this old guy just started yelling random shit at me. And that's pretty much all you need to know. Here's what happened. I'm a pensioner. Go on, pick on me. <laughs> Now if I do, I'm horrible. <laughs> no, man, yeah, dude, that's so great. Thanks so much for coming out. Um, that's cool. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> 79 and a half. That is great. Give this man a round of applause. That was good. <laughs> Take me down. <laughs> what was your name? From the police, my name is Smith. <laughs> <laughs> and if I'm not from the police, <laughs> Johnny Emerson. Johnny Emerson. I'm from the cops, see <laughs> fuck. <laughs> John, have you ever fucked with someone at the top? <laughs> I'm an old merchant seaman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just seaman, what? <laughs> And did you have a map is on the on the ship? <laughs> I've even got one cannon on my chest there, you can't see it. It's so good. Uh, you can see the mask picking up. A boat or a or a map is store? I'm so confused. You're like, big map just a <laughs> large fries like here. <laughs> a few moments later. So what uh, what did you used to do on the boat? Well uh <laughs> I, I was only just a, an able-bodied seaman and sometimes makes boats. <laughs> See, everyone on the board is just laughing at the word seaman. <laughs> you, can always tell a, you can always tell a sailor by the seaman on his boots. Uh, yes, that was a fun joke. Yeah. <laughs>
that's an image I didn't need. <laughs> Right, so you just used to work on my boats, just general boating. Stand the ship and uh... Oh, so you're, you're a big man in command. No, no, I wasn't in command. I was, no, they don't steer the ship, they just tell you how to steer it. I don't know what that boat's on, John. Um, you're a lot more about seamen, I'll be honest. I'm a seamen like that. No, we're way more about carbon boats. So. 